Now to the battle over charter schools, and it's now heading to court. Angry parents are taking on the de Blasio administration, trying to save Harlem's highest performing middle school and two other charters. And now some pushback from Team de Blasio. You're looking at a live picture in Harlem, where supporters of the mayor are rallying to get their message out about why one charter school expansion would have been harmful for their children. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us now with this new development. Marsha? Well, Christine and Dick, it's a fight that seems to escalate on a daily basis. Even though the de Blasio administration offered an olive branch of sorts, the charter operator he seems to have a vendetta against is still going to court. We want educational justice. We want access to educational excellence and opportunity. Success Charter School's founder Eva Moskowitz announcing the filing of a federal lawsuit and two others against the de Blasio administration for what she says is an illegal backroom process to deny the civil rights of the 194 children who go to Harlem Success and have had their classroom space revoked. We firmly believe that the revocation of the co-locations is illegal. Parents were entitled to input and process. Instead, this administration held meetings behind closed doors and suddenly announced revocations that were based on previously unannounced criteria. Actually, the de Blasio administration did announce last Friday that they were looking for space that might accommodate Harlem's success and its 194 mostly minority students. But school officials say they were never contacted. Those comments have only been made uh, to the media and no one has directly contacted our school community about a concrete solution. It wasn't right. Why is he not talking to us, the parents? We believe that the mayor did not follow the law. We cannot just take this. The mayor has argued his decision was partially based on a desire to preserve seats for special needs students. Remember, the 45 proposed co-locations carrying over from the Bloomberg administration, we agreed to 36, we disagree with nine. And I think any judge who looks at it is going to see that we were very balanced and objective. Meanwhile, mayoral supporters held a press conference to argue that expansion of Success Academy into their PS149 building would have been harmful. If Eva Moskowitz were to have her way, making 23.6 million dollars in 2012 why could she not pay rent for a building well this fight isn't expected to end very soon the pro de blasio team says it's going to start a new video campaign to as they put it debunk the misinformation being put out by the charter schools christina dick it's like political season again isn't it it certainly is <laughs> all right marcia thank you